Thank you. Good morning. And thank you so much, Governor. I'm incredibly honored and humbled by this appointment to continue my service to the people of our great state of Florida. I know I've said this before on prior occasions, but I have to say it again. I stand before you the epitome of the American dream. My beginnings are humble. I grew up in the small island of Jamaica. La Mom. To a mom who never finished high school and who herself was the daughter of a small farmer. What my mom lacked in financial resources, she made up for in grit, determination, faith, and hard work. And those, those values inculcated early and often in her children were reflected in me as a small business owner, which I did while attending college full time eventually graduating with high honors and being a surrogate parent to a much younger sibling. As a student of history growing up, I was and I remain in awe of the United States, its constitution, its freedoms, its respect for the rule of law. And so like many generations before me and since, I set out to find my place in this shining city on the hill. And when I embarked upon my career in the law, never did I imagine that it would bring me here, standing in front of you, being here today. So I'm not only grateful, I'm humbled that I get to be a part of this great American experiment and to serve at the highest level of our state judiciary. The Florida Supreme Court protects the people's liberty and inherent in the way that we do that as a judiciary is by respecting and observing the limited role that judges play in our constitutional system of government. Alexander Hamilton explained what that meant, that we exercise neither force nor will, but merely judgment. We apply the law as written. This timeless principle in a civil society not only promotes uniformity, predictability, it's essential to preserving liberty. It restrains arbitrariness. It restrains abuses of power. If history teaches us anything, it's that as simple and enduring as this principle is, it's evaded the vast majority of human history until this American experiment. I want to close by thanking some very, very important people in my life, without whom none of this would have been possible. I won't risk rattling off names lest I forget somebody, um, but you know who you are. To my mentors, my colleagues, you've supported me tirelessly, you've guided me, you've encouraged me. In this process, you've amazed me with your generosity, your dedication, and your kindness. To the men and women of the Florida Supreme Court JNC, thank you <clears throat> for all the hard work you do in this very important role, all while juggling very demanding personal and professional commitments. Thank you to the former governor, now Senator Rick Scott, who first appointed me to the county court bench over five years ago. Without that confidence in me, I would not be standing here today. And thank you to my friends and supporters for your calls, your texts, your emails, your love, your encouragement. It's meant so much to me, more than I can express. And finally, I want to say a special thank you to my family. And uh, now I'm going to try to keep it together. <laughs> to my family, mom, for your love. <laughs> your support and all the sacrifices you made to make sure I had what I needed, even was it, when it wasn't everything that I wanted. <laughs> I love you. To my husband, Thank you for your unwavering support and your belief in me. You are a true partner in every sense of the word, and I cannot imagine doing any of this without you by my side. Most of all, thank you for these two rambunctious and precious boys. <laughs> Josh, 
You are so kind, so thoughtful, and you take such great care of your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you have grown up so much. Hang on, I'm, mommy's almost, almost done. And I love the way that you love your, your big brother, especially when you two are not fighting. <laughs> I can't wait to see all the amazing things that both of you do in this life. And to Governor DeSantis, thank you again. Thank you again for this great honor, this opportunity to continue serving our great state. Thank you, everyone.